Ira Pejnik, the man whose testimony put 10 members of Newark's Campisi crime family in jail, is dead at 34. But the one-time mob assassin, who had bragged he was the target of a $100,000 contract, was not killed by a hitman's bullet. Authorities say Pejnik's death was from natural causes. He was living in Tucson, Arizona, under an assumed name and with federal protection. But Pejnik's violent past apparently haunted even his final moments. Just before he collapsed, Pejnik reportedly ran into a gas station, claiming he was being chased and screaming for help. But Tucson police say there was no one in pursuit and no sign of foul play. Final autopsy results are still awaited, but Pejnik is believed to have suffered a heart attack. After almost a year, an alleged South Jersey mobster is back in the state to face contempt charges. Carl Ippolito is an alleged member of the Angelo Bruno crime family in the Philadelphia, South Jersey area. He was indicted last June for failing to appear before the State Commission of Investigation. Ippolito was released yesterday after he posted a $25,000 bail. He faces a maximum of three years in prison and a $1,000 fine for the contempt charges. Camden Mayor Angelo Arachetti was warned of a mob contract on his life just one day after the execution of Philadelphia crime boss Angelo Bruno. That report from a copyrighted story in today's Camden Courier Post, which says the contract was ordered by New York Mafia bosses, the same men who allegedly ordered the hit on Bruno. Officially, there are no suspects in Bruno's killing, and Arachetti is refusing any comment on the story. But aides close to the mayor call the story part of an effort by the FBI to stampede Arachetti into protective custody in return for information the FBI believes the mayor has on organized crime figures and Atlantic City. The FBI is looking into published reports that a company operating out of the Military Ocean Terminal in Bayonne is a front for organized crime. According to a series of articles in the New York Daily News, Consolidated Pier Deliveries Incorporated leased a 33-acre site at the Marine Terminal in 1981 and turned it into a base for organized crime activities. Anthony Gallagher, whose family controls 90% of the stock in the company, denied allegations that the firm is tied to mob boss John DeGilio. Gallagher said he cooperated with FBI and Internal Revenue Service agents when they raided his offices in May of last year. Gallagher also said he has filed suit against the FBI, the U.S. Attorney in New Jersey, two judges, and several federal agents seeking access to a 165-page affidavit, which was the basis of the Daily News report.